New data says that Asians will decide the next president of the United States. But how is this going to happen? Andrew, the Asians wield great power, but let's hope they never learn how to wield it, or else we'll have to actually start thinking about their concerns. Uh, oh. Andrew, this is circulating right now. Uh, Asian Americans may determine this year's election. This is a Next Shark article, and they're not the only ones talking about it. Yeah, I guess new numbers and kind of new mathematics and uh, different scenarios have come out. And as you guys know, it's a really close race. It's a closer race than people would have expected two months ago. I will tell you this. And I think that we are living in a very, very interesting time that we are going to remember for a long time. Because honestly, uh, the cl the race is closer than we thought, and not only that, it's a silly Billy race. Yeah, it's a it's there's a lot of weird stuff going on. But anyways, guys, I just want to say that the unbiased Vegas odds. There's a lot of Vegas betters who spend their life. These are like great mathematicians that uh, they're hardly ever wrong on things. They have the race close and even Kamala Harris possibly winning. Yeah, it's near a 50-50, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Check out Small Ass Sauce on Amazon.com. Let's just read this. Asian Americans, the nation's fastest growing electorate, that's pretty key here, Andrew, mm -hmm. could emerge in critical as critical swing voters in November's elections, specifically, Andrew, in the swing states of Nevada in Georgia. Ooh. So basically, Asian American voters are notably independent with twice as many identifying as purely independent compared to the general electorate. So when it comes to politics, Asian Americans generally are not known to be as tied to a tribe. You know why that is? Because political affiliations and religions, Andrew, for the vast majority of people, you're born into. Mm. So Asians, obviously, a lot of us are born overseas where there isn't this binary that exists. Or uh, our parents are just like, that wasn't their top concern was picking a side when they got here. Right, right, right. Um, the Asian voting population exceeds the margin of victory in most battleground states in 2024. Okay, so they're saying that even though these states are not heavily Asians heavily Asian, there are enough Asians of eligible voter age that are eligible voters, possibly, that they could swing it for some of these states. And you know what else, Andrew? Most Asians aren't activated. They're not active voters, even though they have the legal eligibility to vote. Ah. They haven't, they have the card, but they haven't use that chip yet they haven't played that card it's yet. almost like they have the driver's license but they haven't driven yet right 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 legally they can do it um let's take a look at this andrew number one for 31 percent of eligible asian voters their number inflation is their top concern okay okay so they care a lot about uh the economics right, right. basically I, affordability groceries gas prices etc yeah, housing yeah, yeah. as a lot of people do right now a lot of people care about the the groceries gas their average costs uh, i mean this these are things they that are I, just printing the money they are acting funny it's not worth anything anymore i mean these are issues to your everyday life like you want to talk about all these big macro issues like even wars overseas but really what's affecting americans day to day is really what's going to get them probably the most emotional most honestly i thought it was going to be crime but i realized crime happens more in big cities okay just okay or, or at least the perception of crime you know what i mean at least the crime against asians happens in big cities republican asians are twice as likely as democrats to uh mention immigration as a government priority mm. while four times as many democrats cite climate change and are twice as li likely to list guns as a major priority than their republican asian voter counterparts okay so asian democrats more care about guns gun, gun control, control and, and climate and climate change and then the republican asians often care about immigration immigration but but they both care about inflation okay so that's what they're united on okay Adults under 30 that are Asian are twice as likely to mention healthcare reform, student debt, and housing costs as their main issues that they care about, while those Asian voters over 60 are three times more likely to cite immigration as a priority. Mm. And 69% of the total old and young have little to no faith the government will be able to make any significant process progress on these issues this year in 2024. Yeah, they're just checking out. They're already giving up. Um. The next slide says Asian Americans have a weaker party affiliation that makes them more persuadable to go on one side or the other with only 59% of Democratic leaning Asians identifying as strong Democrats. Mm -hmm. Basically, they're moderate whether they lean right or lean left. Andrew, typical Asian, they don't go far right or far left. Yeah. Well, I think we should talk about David because the numbers show that in particularly Nevada and Georgia, if all the Asians were to go out and vote, 
one way, if they could all choose to vote one way in both of these states, as in the Asian Nevadas and the Asians in Georgia, all say, hey, guys, let's all vote this and, way or that and, way. And, then and, they, and, and turn up at the polls, too. Right, and turn up at the poll and actually vote, then they could potentially swing the election in their favor. So I guess let's talk about why that might be difficult, but it's mathematically possible. Well, they might just not come out and vote, right? And you might not come out and vote for an Asian region, Asian Asian re- reason, in my opinion, which is like, yeah, I just never vote. That's not my thing, right? Or you could, maybe your favorite candidate went out in the primaries. Mm. So you're like, you know what? I'm throwing my hands up. My guy lost already. Yeah, no, I mean, and uh, honestly, I just, there's so many steps to being a voter. First of all, you have to be eligible, and a lot of there are a lot of Asians who are eligible, uh, and then you have to register to vote, and then you have to go out and vote. Now, going out to vote doesn't mean you have to physically go there. You can do it by mail. All right, we haven't. No one has invented the secure way to do it on the app yet because I I don't think the powers that be want us to vote off of our phones, but I think we should in some way. But anyways, you can vote uh, without leaving your house technically, but right. a lot of people still just don't vote. But point number two. Even if they did, did, were forced to like all turn up and vote, they wouldn't vote in a singular direction because they said that Asians typically, even though they lean left, it's not like they're like far left either. Right. Like they're, 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 they're vote, like, right. so if all Asians turn up and they split 50 50, then it's almost like none of them voted. Well, you mean it cancels each other out right. in a way, right? If it was split 50 50, which I, it's hard to tell right now what the Asian vote would be if every Asian or just everybody in America in general, like, how they kind of do it on Australia. I believe that you're supposed to vote in Australia and they fine you like a hundred bucks if you don't vote. If you skip three elections in a row. Oh, okay. So if you are trying to, yeah. What if they made everybody vote, then they wouldn't, we don't even know who all Asians would vote for because it's such a diverse group. Guys, there are Asians who are literally like voting one way just because of their country of origin. And then there's or, Asians who are voting or, just because they went to a certain school. Or, or they're something. voting off historical things. Yeah. All right. But if all Asians turn up and vote and it splits 50-50, does it end up being useless? I don't or, want to or say Or do useless. they have to galvanize and shoot a direction just simply to make people care about The them? truth is, I don't think it'd be 50-50. I can't tell you which way it would go, but I, it just sounds unrealistic that it would actually split 50-50. It would be closer to 50-50 than a lot of groups, though, I think. Yeah, that's true. Point number three, Andrew. They might go out and vote, but they might vote independent, libertarian, RFK, you know, the Green Party, Forward Party. I know that you did an interview with Dean Phillips, who was the Forward Party candidate, basically. Well, essentially, even though he ran as a Democrat, he's out. Right. You know what I mean? I'm saying that they could vote for somebody like uh, what Jill Stein. Right. Or but, but, but I think how many Asians are even tapped into politics to know who the third party is? Guys, here's the thing. A lot of Asians who are even eligible voters, who maybe even registered they just don't even keep up with politics. They don't even know what's going on. And they don't feel passionate enough because they're in their head, they, one, just believe that their vote doesn't matter. Number two, they don't know anything, so they don't want to vote for the wrong person without doing their due diligence. But also, three, it's just like, it's just not within their family structure. Like, if your parents never voted and they never talk about voting, you know how tapped in you have to be or your friend group has to, like, kind of pressure you to vote. Right, and you're saying if it's not part of your, like, actual cultures yeah normal pattern of daily behavior it's not part of your family culture like plain and simple you right. know it would, you're saying that it almost, it almost like be getting white people to get a uh rice cooker from zojirushi and make rice every day yeah it's, it's, not, not, part of their it's not in white people's culture to use chopsticks at home some of them do a small percentage i'm sure but like it's not within white culture to do that right 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 anyway let's get into the comment section before we get into our takeaways somebody said lean democrat nah we are more conservative than white people sometimes and i wanted to address this andrew because there is ideologically or the way you live your life is conservative and then there's there actually a gap between that and the political manifestation of living conservatively right i actually think that asians are definitely more conservative and more like middle right in the way that they live and the cultures that we emanate from from the motherland but that doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna vote for the modern day iteration of maga or something like that right yeah yeah yeah. no i mean i think it's fair i mean think a lot of people the asian families tend to be living more conservatively whether that's maybe i guess economically well, they're not gonna be doing own. drugs with the kids yeah or they're just i mean but just in general like they're uh more if you're an immigrant family gen, a, a, a lot of asian families are more like oh pull yourself up by the bootstraps that happens to fall more in line with, I guess, the Republican Party today. Right, because Asia doesn't have a lot of social programs. Yeah, it doesn't right? have a lot of, like, welfare. That's not, you know, and then so it's like, 
things like that, uh, I guess, yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, there's, there's a lot of Asians who live conservatively, but they don't like how the conservative party is marketed right now, or I guess who's running it. Right, right, right. I would say most Asians don't like either sides right now, to yeah. be honest. But, yeah. the, you know, sometimes you're forced to make a decision if you buy into that binary. Of course, there was a lot of arguing in the comments section of Net Shark Andrew. Oh my gosh, the Dems are destroying this nation. Oh, you just live in fear. We're going to be fine. A smart Asians vote red. Oh, you're just trying to appeal to whites and white men. Um, this And then, you know what I mean? Like, it just went back and forth. Of course, I guess these are the typical arguments that you would hear when any minority community has uh, people who have tribed up, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what's interesting is like I'm starting to see, and maybe this is the archetypes I see in the comment sections going at each other. It's like the more formally educated like college or grad school Asians arguing with like a lot of maybe more blue collar Asians or like military Asians, like, or m let's just say militant Asians. And that tends to be like the two main groups that I see kind of disagreeing on the internet if I had to put these people in two different boxes. Right. But, you know, the funny thing is you just drew uh, sub-archetypes within the inter-Asian community, like, in terms of uh, pings, right? But I noticed that Filipinos and Viets are both the groups that are more hyper-vocal about their thoughts. So, for example, this girl called Ube X Macha says, this millennial Filipino-American will be voting for Harris, for women, for current... Girl, young girls of color and those that come after him. But then this guy came in and said, well, I'm a Filipino American here from Texas, Trump 2024. <laughs> and uh, I, I noticed that Viet's are pretty outspoken and Filipinos. Yeah. Yeah. Um, somebody said, if they're smart, they'll vote based on the economy. And someone said, if you're smart, you would know that both parties are responsible for our messed up economy. I so, believe that is a true statement. I think that people who think that the economy just got worse with Biden, you have to understand four years is... It's not that long to really do anything. Everything is like a culmination of multiple years, but it is complicated. It is messed up right now, though. It is complicated. Well, uh, it is messed up, but who to blame, up. actually, I think is way more layered, like you said. And it may be a function of late, late stage capitalism that both parties bought into. Yeah. Both parties are like being paid off by big pharma, big military, whatever, et cetera, et cetera, weapons companies. You know what I mean? Like, you know, just America in general is ran by capitalism. Andrew, this person said the economy is now replacing humanity. Thanks God Confucius is not here to see this. And then I said, you know, Confucius, if people really understand, like Confucius has sort of like become like a God specific, you know, in East Asia and China, but it's like Confucius was not Buddha. He had a system of governance that worked and kept everything stable. But it's like... Uh, I think America was always built on, to be honest, economy more than ideals, as mm. much as we were told growing up that it was built on ideals. Um, some people are saying they're just mad at how uncivil the disagreements have become. Mm. I mean, I, I would say so. Do you, Andrew, do you see any pathway for a return to civility? Or do you think now that both sides are slinging mud, it's just going to be mud slinging forever? I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, of course, there was so much arguing between, oh, uh, talking about cults of personality, right? This guy's like, I'm voting for Trump. People saying, oh, well, Trump always relates to all the dictators. How come he wants to be buddy-buddy? Because he wants to be a dictator. And this other guy said, come in, came in and said, listen, guys, let's not vote on personality. Let's just vote on the issues that each party has platformed. Mm, but do you know what each party's uh, policies are on the issues that you care about? And what are the issues? You should just, I mean, maybe just vote whoever got your top three or four issues on lock, you know? But are people top... voting on personality more than the issues though? Yeah, of course. But on your top five issues, who satisfies at least three of them? Right. And it's going to be like closer than you think. Honestly, when people get, uh, take the emotion out of it, they're going to like some things from this side, some things from that side. But, of course, it goes But that's the because the voting for president is very emotional. So it's easier for both sides to emotionally kind of sway people. And when it comes to the emotions, it's not about policy. No one's talking about like, I don't even know what Harris's policies are on a lot of things. I'm not like, is Trump very clear on his policies? Like everybody's just trying to demean the other person. Okay. Trump's going to tear down democracy. Oh, Harris is incompetent. Whatever. Well, they're saying that both people, both sides are saying the other person's going to ruin society to a 10 out of 10 level, but nobody's fully explaining their plan for what they're going to do that's actually going to benefit everybody. Right, yes. Yeah, it's just mudslinging all around. I mean, like we said, guys, there were so many comments, we can't even get into them. Um, a lot of people are talking about, you know, uh, 
we got to fix the crime and we got to fix this. But other people are saying that's done on a more local state level, mm. which is very interesting and very true too. And it's funny. I think it is true, man. I think as much as you think about who to vote for president, I know that this is taking up a lot of the media and taking up a lot of emotions. But I really think people got, if you live in a state and you live in your own community that you vote in, you got to think about who you're voting for for that. I know that those local elections people are People don't not, turn out though. Because people don't feel emotional lo- about governor and state reps yeah local elections is like it feels like you're voting for your semi-pro team instead of your actual nba or nfl you're like cheering on the g league yeah you know that's that's what it feels like but it's actually really important those are the people who kind of set up things for the police you know what's crazy andrew nobody likes caring about triple a baseball but you live in triple a baseball you live in a locality you live provincially parochially like in your small town, right? You, your sheriff department, your DA matters a lot of your specific jurisdiction. I guess what I'm saying is you got to care more about college sports instead of just the pro level sports. Um, of course, you know, there were some Democrats that came in and said, this section, this comment section is actually scary. Look at all the AAPI hate that Trump literally created. Then a white girl came in and said, look at all these boot lickers in the comments. I'll throw up her profile. But you right know here. what? I want to say this, first of all, I think although Asians are divided in the comment section, I think if these Asians cross paths in front of each other in person, I don't, there's no beef. Like, I don't think it's really beef. I think maybe they wouldn't hang out. You know, but I don't like I don't see like the very Trump Asians constantly like bashing the more liberal Democrat Asians. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see that yet. I hope it doesn't happen because we got enough hate in this world. But I don't think Asians are beefing with each other over this only in the comment section. Uh, There was a bunch of comments about like, oh, Republicans don't care about minorities. And then people said, do you think the Democrats really do? They just fake it to try to get your vote. And then, of course, Andrew, other people came in and said, full stop. Nobody cares about us. We are minorities of the minorities. Nobody sees us and nobody sees our concerns. Mm -hmm. Of course, there was calls to vote for RFK. And Joe Rogan recently endorsed RFK. And there's also a libertarian candidate called Chase Oliver. And that would be for people, Andrew, who want to vote, but basically say, I don't want want to vote for any of the mainstream options that are going to win. Right. I think it was kind of a cop out for Joe Rogan because he didn't want to endorse any of the candidates. I'm sure he doesn't like either candidate, but... For him to say RFK, it was funny a smart move for him on a branding level. Yes. Um. Ultimately, here's my thing. I don't think, to be honest, guys, that Asians will ultimately be the deciding vote in Nevada or Georgia. No. But it is true. It's interesting to think about that they could be, I like think, mathematically, I, not not realistically. Yeah, yeah. I do think it goes to show you and reminds people that it is true, man. If everybody went out and voted, which is unrealistic that everybody does it, but if you could. It would matter. It would matter. People don't think their vote matters. And yes, if your vote is clearly far in one color, if it's fully blue, fully red, yes, maybe your singular vote or your family's vote doesn't really matter in that state. But especially in these swing states, voting does matter, actually. You know, so your vote goes a long way. So, I mean, I guess, you know, I just hope that regardless who you pick for this presidential election, that you really think about at least give it a five, 10 minute thought of who you're voting for locally. Cause that's who's going to be in charge of your police. Who's in charge of your parks and recs. That's in charge of your fire department. That's in charge of funding for the state. Right. Distribution of local funds that are more, you're going to more see that manifest in your day-to-day life yeah. than this thing. That's Guys, big in the gun control is still mostly a state thing, you know? So I'm like, that's, that's, you got to think about that. So just think locally but of course, the the big presidential election is the big mainstream parade of an election. This is like a, that's like the main theater, but really don't forget about the minor league locals. Yeah, I thought it was crazy that YMB Choppa, the rapper, came out and said, yeah, guys, you guys understand there's a Congress and a Senate and your local politicians, all that stuff matters David, too. his name is Annalie Choppa. Oh, Annalie Choppa. Get his name wrong. right. You, you're going to talk about the God like that. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I mean, I think you just got to care about your own life too. And, uh, you know, listen, guys, take this as an opportunity if you're getting emotionally riled up about this very, very big picture birds. I think I'm not saying it doesn't matter, but I'm just saying I know that people get emotional this time of year. Try to transfer some of that energy to your own life and managing the country of your day to day. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think of this in the comment section below. Until next time, we're the Hop Hop Boys. We out. Peace. Oh, big shout out to Jung Kwan John, Jing Sing. Guys, this is uh, some of the best ginseng supplements. Get at your local Sprouts or on Amazon.